So soon you're working on a Raspberry Pi project and your intent is to send some commands wirelessly to this ESP relay board. So let's see how we can quickly create a user interface when we haven't worked out the final details of how the final user interface will look like, which is just in the prototype stage. So I'm using Windows 11 Paint. So it has got some additional capabilities that we are actually going to learn in this tutorial. So let's get started. So I've already got the image. So the intent is whenever I click on any of these relays in these are actually very irregular uh, it's a very irregular area so whenever I actually click on any of these relays I want some activity to happen so that's what the intent is so let's get rid of so there is a additional uh, new feature in this version of paint so you can work with layers so I've only got one layer at the moment which is by default whenever you open this image and I have got background in it that I'm actually hiding so if I enable it so it means if there is a paint going background it's it shouldn't appear so in this case the background is white let's actually remove it so there is an option to remove background I click it and it removes the white background from the image uh, it's not an absolute must but uh, it looks better on the final user interface on your Pi when you run it. So I'm going to add a new layer. That's where I'm going to define the areas where it it should do some sort of an activity, meaning um, on these relays here. I'm going to define the areas where a left mouse button click should do some sort of an activity whenever if you click on these relays so I'm just defining these areas so by the way that's the tool that I recently selected that's a polygon tool that I've defined all the areas where a left mouse button should do something uh, let's save it so I'll disable this layer file save as PNG and I'm actually going to save it as an active file so you can give it whatever name uh, and just so that I can identify the file correctly, I call it an active file because I've defined the active regions where a left mouse button should do something. I save it and then I disable this view, enable the other view, save as PNG and I save it as passive. Now this is going to be the actual user interface that will pop up on your screen in Python when you run it uh, and these are all the pixels so nothing's going to change there so that's why I call it passive uh, I, you can give it whatever name but I've actually given it the relay board passive so that I can identify the file correctly save it now that I have active and passive files saved what I need to do is copy these two files, go to Python, and I'm going to paste it here. It's in the same folder. And I've already copied this template. Just confirming that I have a Studio Boost Pack. I'm going to install the package because I haven't got this package installed in this environment. And I've already installed this package, which is the most important one. 
I'm going to uninstall it and show how it will be installed and all that you will get in it if you run this command which is bin install bin power digit ur with dashes and it's going to install the package for us now if you're using an antivirus it may complain so I just allow it to run and that should install the package for us yes it is there on the list um, I've already copy pasted this template from a folder that I've downloaded from github the links below you can also download it from github and there is a templates folder you can copy paste um, this part from the template file file within the template folder and now the next step is because we have already got this active and passive image in the same folder so now we need to run map underscore bin file in your antivirus may complain again so i'm just going to say okay it brings up another pop-up in my case and i let it open the file anyway so when you do that it will open this dialog box which is asking for the active file so that is our active file selected and it brings up yet another pop-up window now it's asking for the passive file so i've identified it this is my passive file i open it brings up another dialog box that's asking for control position file it does not exist so i click new text and i call it positions underscore file or what do you call it control positions file selected selected that is it's here i haven't spelled it correctly here controls positions file it wasn't a problem that yes anyway fixed it click open and that should bring up this window so this is where you define what these active areas are for so to switch the view press f1 on the keyboard and now you can see that i've got the active area defined here and it's been correctly identified by this small little utility what i need to now do is define what uh, each of these active areas are for in this instance i just want it to act like a button and i call it relay one copy it press enter press f2 you can do it from here right click and then you can call it relay three I right click on the relay three and so on so i just need to define what what these active areas are for and relay eight that's the final one so now i've defined it i can close this utility now what it does is that utility has put into this controls positions text file the x y coordinates of the centroid so this is the centroid and then because it was an irregular shape so it defines these or it, it puts into this x uh, this text file the coordinates that encloses the active area so that's what the map bin file utility is for now what I need to do is, because I want to act it like a button, so I input button style one, which is S1 as button, and let's define windows title, so I call it to relay mode and path to passive image so we have already got it here 
that's our recursive image. I will simply name its name because it's in the same folder. Um, controls file is controls position file. Once again, it's in the same folder, so I'll just name it the file name. that need to change anything else we want to define the settings so I say RL1 is equal to button and then I need to put in all the parameters so I want to call it relay1 the changes we've already defined it checkpoints so these are the actual actual variables as defined in the text file so I say button dot str to coordinates and then file location which is controls file variable that we defined previously and how have we defined it so we called it Relay one. So I put relay one, and then the offset, which in this case is a constant four, but we will discuss it some other day. What's that for? And then there's my rag, so that you can see it all. in the last uh, parameter a color if you don't want to define it you don't have to uh, this is rgb value i don't want to and then my text command that should run whenever i click so i call it text pop play click we define it right here so that you can see it's in the view so okay, that's fine so all that we want to do for now is think which button is best so that defines our first one let's see if it works through just a day so we say done this one and it obviously doesn't work because I haven't done main link yet thing is this button name and control name should be the same I have a space uh, in between that I've removed here so I click done and it brings up this window this was relay one so now when we click it we can see if I click anywhere within that area that defines relay one it's linked which means there is some sort of an activity that is happening and as uh, you can see here in the terminal because we are printing using this function which is relay click we can see whenever we click it now you can't see here but it prints out relay one let's define the rest of those relays it again brings up this window and if I click anywhere on these relays it tells you which relay has been clicked and now you can add your own logic with whatever you want to do and click on that 
so that's how quickly you can change the user interface in Python when you are prototyping something especially with Raspberry Pi um, so it's a lot easier